In this problem, we have a complex number, and we have to prove that if we take that complex number z and add it to its conjugate, we get 2 times the real part of z. So before we do the proof, let me just briefly recall uh, what all of this means. So this set here, c, is the set of all complex numbers. So it's the set containing the elements that look like this, a plus bi, and then here a and b are real numbers. So like 2 plus 3i would be a complex number. 4 is a complex number because you can write 4 as 4 plus 0i, um, 2i, etc. So um, an element here looks like that. So if I took a z in the set of complex numbers, it looks like a plus bi. So the conjugate of, of z is the element uh, a minus bi. Okay, a minus bi. If you look at that graphically, just for fun, um, if this is a plus bi, then a minus bi would be down here. It's like a reflection, right, just right below it. Okay, um, and then the real part of z, what is that? So if you have z equals a plus bi, the real part of z is a. And just for extra life knowledge, the imaginary part of z would, be, would just be b. All right, let's go ahead and do our proof. I think we have enough uh, background to actually just do the proof. So proof. So let z be a complex number. It's an element in the set of complex numbers. That's what that notation means. And so this means that z is equal to a plus bi. So this means z equals a plus bi, where a and b are real numbers, so where a and b are elements in the set of real numbers. So now we just have to add them up and see what happens. So then z plus the conjugate of z is equal to, well, we know z is a plus bi. Plus, and then the conjugate is a minus bi. And so this is equal to, wow, look at that. <laughs> they cancel. So you get a plus a, so that's 2a. Ah, but a is special. a is called the real part of z. So this is 2 times the real part of z. And that actually completes the proof. So it's a really uh, simple uh, proof. I hope this video has been helpful.